Hello everyone, tonight we're going to make a zucchini with fish because I have a big zucchini here and as you can see it's a giant one so what we'll do, we're going to cut this into three pieces and then we'll figure out or I will show you the other two um, dish that I can make out of this big zucchini. So for now let's just use it with the fish. So I have all the other ingredients here and I'm going to put this in the description box and we'll just set this aside so at least we can cut the zucchini I have here. So we're just going to get at least um, a small piece of it because uh, there you go. So you can see it's huge. See, this is really big. And uh, that's what we have right now. So we're just going to use this small piece. And uh, the other, we can make it into uh, zucchini lasagna. And of course, we're going to make a cake out of the zucchini. So we're just going to set this aside again. And uh, I'm going to cut this into small strips and join me in cooking the food. What we're going to do first is uh, put the two tablespoon butter and uh, let it stay here until it's melt or it's melted. So now we can put one of the fish. We have the fillet. So let's just put it here and uh, we are going to let it brown a bit. Let's just set that aside while that's melting. One minute each side, it's okay because uh, we are also going to put this in the baking or in the oven for baking. We just want it to be light brown. So, this is very simple and yet delicious. So, now we can do the other side. And uh, we'll do the same process with the other four fillets here. We have the other three pieces, so we're just turning it over and let it stay again for another minute. There you go. So let us now transfer the fish in the dish I have here. So we are going to bake it for at least 15 more minutes. So we have it here. And we are not removing the um, liquid in the pan because we're going to cook the zucchini with it. And what we're going to do, we are adding the olive oil. And then we'll add a zucchini. We have to cook this for at least three minutes. So we're just mixing it. And we can already add the rosemary I have. Plus the basil. We'll put half of the basil because the other half we are going to put it as topping. We have the one tablespoon um, basil, dried basil. And uh, we also have the salt. Since I don't like uh, my uh, food salty, I'm not adding this. This is optional because you already use the salted butter. But uh, we're going to put that in the description box. So let's just uh, let it stay here for another two minutes. So three minutes is done. We are adding the tomato I have, the diced tomato. If you don't have the fresh tomatoes, you can also use the one in the can. And uh, we are again letting it stay here for five minutes to let the uh, sauce thicken a bit. 
And by the way, if you like pepper, you can also put some pepper. This time, this is from my garden. I'm just gonna put it as a whole to, you know, um, if somebody doesn't like pepper, then they don't have to eat it. So we're just putting it there as a whole pepper on the tree. And uh, also, we have here the uh, walnut. Actually, this is ground walnut. If you don't have the ground walnut, you can also use pecan or almond, or even the um, breadcrumbs will do it. So we will set this aside for now while we're waiting for the sauce to thicken. And I have the lemon here to also put on top of the uh, fish. So we'll just leave it for five minutes. So let's see our cut sauce. Okay, this is now thick and uh, we are turning off the stove and uh, putting this on top of our fish. Look at that, it's really good and it smells good too. So we're just uh, putting it here. So let's move this up as you can see. So we're just uh, spooning it on, the, uh, on top of the fish we have. Let's cover everything. There you go, it looks delicious already. So the peppers are right there. Let's put one of the pepper in, uh, in, in the center. So this is how it looks right now. And then we have here the walnut so we're just going to sprinkle it and as I mentioned if you don't have walnut you can use even peanut or breadcrumbs I like walnuts and so we're just this is one four cup walnut let's put more in there just keep sprinkling until it's done Look at that. And uh, we have the other half of the basil. We didn't finish everything in the zucchini, so we'll just sprinkle it too. We're going to brown it for at least 10 to 15 minutes in the oven. So what I did, I already preheat the oven. There it go. And of course the lemon. We have the one half lemon. So we'll just put it here on top and remember the salt I'm not adding salt this time but uh, you know um, it's for your preference if you want more salt then you can add so that's how it looks right now we're putting it in the oven and I'll show you the outcome later on this is our finished product or food and look at that it looks so good right now and uh, I'm going to transfer it in a plate this is my cooking for tonight, the fish fillet with zucchini. And by the way, the zucchini is from my garden. And if you like my channel, please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and of course, hit the notification bell so you will be updated with my next video. As always, God bless us all. This is Arlene Mendez. Bye for now.